Hi, my name is Sam Biddle and I thought with Halloween right around the corner I would give you this great salon viable look for this spooky month. It is a skull design and it can be used on an accent finger or it can be used over the whole set. You decide whatever you want to do. Now you will see in the example here I have a black and a white background so really you decide if you want to um, apply the black polish at the end when I show you um, or whether you want to leave the white um, base coat. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to apply just one coat of white gel polish. Now if you want to do uh, the white finished look you'll need to do this for two coats. So apply one coat and cure for 30 seconds. Now you're going to need our Be Creative Medium black paint, the purple brush and a thumb palette to do this. It's a very simple design and it doesn't take long at all. Wipe off the sticky layer, so we're not putting any top coat on, we're putting the colour down and then we're wiping off that sticky layer, okay? So this is, means that we can actually then apply artwork and then go over the top again and apply our top coat without worrying about it lifting. You want to grab some medium and really work it into the bristles of your purple brush. Just grab a few um, beads of medium onto your thumb palette and really work in that uh, product into the brush. Now see how tiny this bead of black is. You want the smallest amount. It's going to go a long, long way. And we're actually going to layer this. You then work that into your brush as well and we go on and start creating our skulls. So you can see how we just use the brush, we spun that around and created a circle and then we're just pulling down a small rectangle so this is the jawline of our skull. So we're going to do it again. I don't want you to be neat. In fact, the less neat you are, the messy you are with this, the lines, the strokes that you see actually is more authentic. This is what we're after. And we're actually going to do two or three coats and two or three layers so that we get a little bit more depth to our skull. The idea is, is this is a super quick application that you can do this in the salon and not worry about adding additional time. So really, the messy you are, the better this is actually going to look. These are old, ancient skulls, so we don't want it to be pristine. So decide how and where you want to place these skulls over the nail. Obviously, this is a tip. So we've got longer, we've got more room to work on and over an actual nail, you're only going to maybe do one, two or three skulls. So place your first layer of skulls down and then you're going to pick up a little bit more black and work that into some more medium. So a tiny little bit more black and then work it in. You see this is quite dark now. Now when I apply this, it's actually going to be too dark. So all I do is I apply a stroke and then I take off any excess and then just go in and you see how I move that product and the paint? Well, that's because of the medium. The medium just holds the paint in suspension, that color. I want to see the different levels of paint. I want to see the different um, uh, depth of paint and the lines and the strokes that my brushes make. Because when I apply my top coat, this is gonna give me a shadow and a shade. So now we go into some detail. I'm going to use a nail art pen for this because it's super quick and this is a salon viable look. So we want to do this in a, as little time as possible. You obviously need your paper. You want to remove any excess off your nib uh, just by um, running it down the paper a few times. And then we are going to go and do the eyes. Now the eyes aren't round. Can you see that they're slightly squoval? They're square with rounded edges. So you want to do um, the eyes and then you want to do a rectangle for the mouth. Don't worry, we're going to add detail in later, but this is a quick design. This tutorial actually is taking 10 minutes, that's all. Now that is because I'm going through each detail with you and if you were doing this on a client, I'd expect you to do this whole look in an additional 10 to 15 minutes on um, a few of the nails. Now I've worn this particular design on uh, my ring finger, so I always wear black gel polish. On my ring finger, I've just had a couple of skulls hand painted. I loved it. And actually everyone else loved it as well. They all thought that I put stickers on there. Nope, I made it myself, I drew it myself. So it's a pretty awesome look. 
So here we go, we're just finishing off with our nail art pen. You can see I haven't re-dipped this nail art pen, I've actually just used this with one dip. And now we're going to go on and we're actually going to um, put some cracks in the skull. Now with this one I'm actually going to go over the outside with gel polish in black. So I want to um, have the black on these skulls as well. You see how it's quite thick there? Once I've put the black on, it will look like the skull has broken and cracked open. Don't worry, these lines are thick um, or thicker than perhaps you'd want them to be for cracks. We're gonna come in in just a little bit with a uh, detail brush, my own designed orange brush, and that's where we get the fine lines. So here it is, the orange brush. Just load your brush up and then you just use the very tip, tip, tip of your brush. You see how I've angled the brush? I'm only touching the surface of the nail with the tip of the brush. So just go down those lines, those thicker lines that we made look, and we just make them thinner. And we just pull that down over the uh, brow of the skull. So really, we're nearly there. But we have those big rectangle mouths. Now we want to change that and we just want to add some teeth. Now art is mainly about creating an illusion. What you don't want to do is overwork um, your art because otherwise you are going to um, spend a lot of time doing it. You want to just add the idea that something is there and the viewer will actually translate that and fill in the blanks. I'm actually using the brush itself to create the shape for the nose. So I'm just pressing the brush down so that it becomes horizontal onto the surface of the nail and I press it just so that it's the shape of the nose. So I'm not actually painting that. And that means that I'm gonna get an equal distance or an equal width for each nostril. So let's add some detail. A little bit of white, mix that in with the black to make some gray. We're just looking for a more opaque gray than what we have already, what we've achieved with the skulls. And with the tip of our brush, you're just gonna add just small indentations along that black rectangle. So this is the gum line or the teeth. I mean, really, we're not looking at having teeth. Once we add top coat, you're not going to notice the main detail about this. You just want to break that black line up. So I'm using a different orange brush. Please don't use the brush that you've used for your acrylic water-based paints you want to grab yourself a different brush when you're using it with your gel. So we're gonna use a gel polish, I'm using black, and we're going to now just go around the outside. So this would actually be the second coat of gel polish. So normally you would do two coats of white, or actually our second coat or our second and third coat is going to be black. Obviously I'm speeding this up because otherwise we're going to be here for another 15 minutes while we do this. Um, I'm speeding this up for you now and you can just go and see how I just go around the edges. Now when you apply with a small brush you are going to apply it quite thinly. So you are going to need a second coat with this. So once you're finishing off getting in all those little nooks and crannies around the skull, we're going to go in after we've cured it and make a second coat. The final cure is done and now for everything to come together. All that's left to do is to apply your top coat. So once you do this, you will see your nail transform. Where you would look at the nail and you think, oh, I can see this and I can see that and that's not very good. Once you apply that top coat, it is amazing how much different it can look. Then you just need to wipe off that inhibition layer, that sticky layer that's left behind and voila, it is all done. A spooky design for this spooky month. I do hope you enjoy it and I can't wait to see the results on the Be Creative Facebook page.